Wyoming, Maine's mass shooting suspect showed signs of mental instability. The question is, could something like this have been prevented? Florida adopted the red flag law about five years ago, while Maine has a more lenient law. Action News Jackson Ecutierrez joins us live in studio to explain tonight. Annette, Maine has what's called a yellow flag law. Yes, both red and yellow flag laws are a way to prevent mass shootings by people who have shown clear evidence of having mental health challenges. Maine's yellow flag law requires one extra step that Florida's red law does not. Weeks after the Parkland shooting in 2018, Florida passed a red flag law. It allows police to petition to a judge to decide if guns should be taken away from a person deemed a threat to themselves or others. Action News Jack's lawn safety expert Dale Carson says it starts with a civilian call to the police first, followed by a court hearing. During that hearing, the evidence to suggest that someone shouldn't have access to a firearm has to be clear and convincing for the court to issue an order. The yellow flag law in Maine requires police to first get a doctor to evaluate the person before police can petition a judge. And after the judge gives the order, police can collect all the firearms in the person's possession. So that's something that used properly would prevent individuals who shouldn't have access to firearms having access to firearms. Police in Florida can also Baker Act people. The Baker Act allows the government to put someone in 72 hours worth of care to determine whether or not they are a threat to themselves or another. State Representative Angie Nixon has been vocal about toughening gun laws. In a statement, Nixon says in part, quote, we need to look at stronger policy around guns, period. It makes absolutely no sense that a man with a well-documented history of mental illness that made multiple threats of violence should have access to military-grade weapons. And the Florida Department of Law Enforcement says the state has nearly 4,000 risk protection orders in place. The red flag law has been used 285 times in Duval County between March 2018 to the end of 2022. During that same time frame, it was used 21 times in Nassau County, 15 times in St. John's, and five times in Clay. Reporting in the newsroom, Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jacks.